I'm going to show you how you can add OEM or original equipment manufacturer information to your Windows 11 machine. There's no advantage of adding that information, but however, if you would like to do that, you can add it. And also I will show you how to delete them if you already have that information on your computer and you would like to get rid of them. If you go to your start menu and click on settings, under systems, on the about tab, you will see two sections, one called the device specifications and window specifications. But if you have bought this computer from a retailer, you will probably see three sections. It will be device specifications, support, and window specification. I don't have the support section here, because I install this Windows 11 on a virtual machine using a image, Windows 11 image file. But if you have bought the computer from a company, a retailer, and a, it was manufactured by a company like Dell, HP, Asus, for example, their information should appear here on a section. So what are we gonna do in here? First, we will add some manufacturer information or original equipment manufacturer OEM information using registry editor. Then I will show you how you can delete them if you like to get rid of it. So let's close this. Go to start and I'm gonna go run, type run and it will open the run command. You can also open the run command by pressing Windows key and R. It will also open the run command and type reg edit, R-E-G edit, and click enter. It'll give you the UAC or user account control, and you had to be the administrator for this computer in order to edit registry keys. So click yes, and if you're not the administrator, it will give you a pop-up to login as an administrator. And on the left-hand pane, we're gonna to navigate to H key local machine. We're gonna expand that. And then we're gonna expand the software. Then we will expand the Microsoft right here. And then we will expand the Windows. So it should be on the bottom of this list. Uh, so right here, Windows, you can expand that. And then current version this one and if you look at this uh, list in the current version you'll see the option called OEM information which is stand for original equipment manufacturer information currently that file have is empty like that section is empty just the default um, key what we're gonna do we're gonna add a couple of string values so the first thing we're gonna add, I'm gonna add a manufacturer. So I'm gonna right click on the right hand side and I'm gonna say new, it's gonna say string value and we're gonna name it manufacturer. So it's M-A-N-U-F-C-T. Make sure the spelling is correct. So manufacturer, because if the spelling is incorrect, it's not gonna work. And I'm gonna double click on that. And I can enter a value for it. So I'm gonna call this the net IT geeks at sanuja.com. I'm gonna click OK. So it's a text value, also known as a string value. The next one I'm gonna do is the model. Again, right click, new, and we're gonna have a string value and it's gonna be model, so M-O-D-E-L. Double click on that one, and I'm gonna call this the Win11 VM. Just so, just I'm just giving random uh, information. And we can add other information such as like uh, support hours. So if you add a, uh, for support hours, uh, let's put a string value. Call it support 
hours and I'm gonna say never just for fun or you can say midnight only or something like that or you can you can enter anything because it's just a string value and there are a couple of other items you can add as well like for example phone number uh, that would be support phone because these variables are associated with specific um, information strings uh, you don't necessarily like because the, the values are strings you don't actually even need to put a phone number in here I can just put one two three and then call me or anything like that doesn't really matter remember because these are all string values it doesn't really matter so you can put a support URL for example that will have your website so let's put that and finally you can also add a logo now the logo is a a value it's it's a string value data but it has certain specifications that you had to meet it has to have be a 32 bit uh be a bitmap file otherwise it won't work and the maximum uh, pixel is 120 by 120 and if you have made it anything bigger it will not work like no i mean it will work like what's going to happen is it's going to shrink it so the windows will shrink your image to 120 by 120 so i'm going to add a string value and i'm going to call it the logo just the logo not the logo just logo logo and in here we need to specify the path now if you go to your settings and you go to uh, system and you go to about you will see the support option see it has the manufacturer it has the hours it's the support website it'll go to sanuja.com currently it's not connected and uh, if the image was done correctly it should appear here once it get rebooted uh, but that's how you add uh, support information now if you want to delete this information like you don't want like you know you don't want your manufacturer information appearing on your computer uh, under systems about like this I have it with uh, mine like call me or whatever you know if HP information or Dell information what you can do you can navigate to this registry entry position and simply select all of these items and make sure you leave the default right click and hit delete and say yes and now if you go to settings and if you go to about and you'll see that manufacturer information has disappeared so this is this is pretty neat if you want to do it for your own computer especially just so that you can learn registry edit and stuff but it also show you that you know certain advanced functionalities of windows 11 and that's everything until next time have a nice day